Hi, my name is Ken Gordon. I'm a dermatologist at Northwestern University. I'd like to talk to today about a new medication for atopic dermatitis called dupilumab. Recently in the New England Journal of Medicine, there was an article published of two studies of dupilumab for moderate to severe atopic dermatitis. Now, this article has far-reaching implications not only for the medication itself, but for the understanding of atopic dermatitis. Dupilumab is a, is a medication that blocks the one subunit of the interleukin-4 receptor. This blocks the ability of both interleukin-4 and interleukin-13 to have this pathophysiologic effect on atopic dermatitis. What's important about this study, however, is not just so much the physiology and suggesting that this medication works for the disease, but also the implication for understanding how clinical trials are done and the meaning of clinical trials in atopic dermatitis. Because this is the first of hopefully a number of new phase three registry development trials for atopic dermatitis with multiple new medications, we don't quite know how the data will stack up over time. In reference, with psoriasis years gone by, when we had early biologics, we didn't know what a POSI-75 really meant and what we were able to reach in, in the future. In this study, with two studies, the SOLO-1 and SOLO-2 study, it was found that dupilumab worked in getting the primary endpoint of an investigative global assessment about 35 to 40 percent of the time, and then IgA of 0 or 1, which means clear or almost clear. Likewise, the easy scores, which was the primary second endpoint, had reached uh, statistical significance against placebo and had a rate of an easy 75 of anywhere around 50 percent. What that means, however, for new development for atopic dermatitis is not unclear. We really don't know, based on comparisons to other phase three development programs, how far we can push that, or is this medication going to be as good as we can get for atopic dermatitis? A very, very important point. A couple other specifics of the study I think need to be brought out. First of all, there were two dosing periods. One was dosing at every other week, and one was dosing every week for dupilumab. And it turns out the two doses seem to behave about the same, that there seems to be about equal efficacy between the two doses. What's more, and very importantly, the safety record of tupilumab for the 16-week trial seemed very, very good. There were no signals that would bring out any concern to me. What that means for long-term therapy for atopic dermatitis is still unclear. One other point that I think is really important is how the study was performed. It was a placebo-controlled trial without concomitant medications. There's some question as to whether a topic dermatitis trial should allow patients to have tocolocorticosteroids, for example. In this case, it was chosen not to have those results, not to have those concomitant medications, which resulted in, I think, a very clean outcome in the clinical trial results, suggesting that I think that the way this study was done with a true monotherapy study is probably for the best. So I think the conclusions of the study are clear. Dupilumab does work for atopic dermatitis and improves in when comparison to placebo in this monotherapy placebo controlled trial. We don't know the implications for the long-term safety, but the short-term safety seems quite good. But what's even more important is we're gonna to have to get a detailed understanding of what is the levels of care and the level of clearance that we want in atopic dermatitis studies in the future. And this is just the first of the studies that will hopefully lead us to a better understanding of how we treat the disease. Thank you very much.